طب كيف بدنا نشوف بالشيف شيء؟ يمنع حصل لا بس لنعمل كيف تنظيف Once we were finally able to open this box up, we saw that the tigers, that there was actually three of them, and they were just covered in, in feces and urine, and that the box, the full bottom of the box was covered in maggots, and that the maggots were already into the hair of the tigers. So they're really in really rough shape. 70 by 50. 90 by 70 by 50, external, so inside it's actually small. These animals are most likely destined just for a private zoo, somebody who wants them just to use them as a prop and to be able to show off a little bit. So this is not the first attempt, we've seen lots and lots of attempts to smuggle animals into Lebanon, just like it happens anywhere in the world. And these are Siberian tigers, so somebody was potentially paying maybe $50,000 for these animals. This is not a shipment which anybody's going to easily let go. You know, when it comes to shipments like this, you're talking about big people, important things. It's, it's a clandestine, it's hidden. You know, people really don't want to be able to talk about these things. The Tigers eventually stayed seven days until we could get a court order from a judge of urgent matters simply to move the animals into our care for their own welfare and because it looked like this case was completely illegal. Um, the very same day that we were moving the tigers, the, the trafficker of these animals tried to break into the property. So we had a big issue there with needing the police and trying to fight to keep these people out and keep the tigers and ourselves safe. We have a small holding facility just outside of Beirut that we use for a range of wild animals. And so we got all fixed up for the tigers and they were moved into this enclosure. And it was great to see them grow and develop. You know, at first you just have three unhappy, shy, scared tigers, and by the end of it, you have three playful individuals with characters that you could recognize. And, you know, it's a great transformation, but it's something which we really need to be able to focus upon and see if we can stop some of these trafficking uh, attempts before these animals ever get to Lebanon. So we see ourselves as a rescue center for all species of animals and we try not to keep wild animals in our care for too long. It's better to get them to much more specialized places. Hi everyone, this is Maggie from Animals Lebanon, Jean-Christophe, veterinarian from Tonga Terre d'Accueil, and Jason, our director. We're all here at Tonga Terre d'Accueil Sanctuary in France, and we're going to see the rescue tigers, Tanya May and Antoul. Here they are. <laughs> I know it might sound funny, but I'm making the chuff. It's called the chuff noise, and this is how they communicate. Hey, kiddies. Hey, Tanya. Hey. Look who's coming.
Animal Zaban just celebrated its 10 year anniversary and we do such a wide range of work. So I'm really proud of what we've done over the last 10 years. We've passed national legislation, we, we've joined international conventions. So really our goal is to focus on the underlying causes of why animal welfare is not a priority in this country and to work to improve the overall welfare of all species nationwide. <laughs>